Myriad apocalypses force me to paint my tragic prophecies. God not dead, finally roused, awakened to us, drives my dread. Iraq, Iran, Nanjing, New York, Cairo, Nairobi, Tel Aviv, Kiev, explosions and implosions making pandemonium a prophetic norm. Money, power, fame, all the same old lures lead the masses toward the precipice of total annihilation, eclipsing every sun. Every one of the proud cities, imperial grandeur of banks bullion, mongers of munificence, stars of science, and entertainment royals, all on parade, proclaim the inevitability of collapse seen as fact. We don't want to adjust our self-interest because there's only now. We work in furious splendor, splashing walls of inner paradises, oblivious to the dangerous demons of mindless self-exploitation. The prince of this world encourages hidden politicos with shadows of self-satisfaction, unmanning the potency of loving self-giving. The coming disaster is merely one possibility for the planet. It's nobody's fault. We're all just trying to take care of business. But the godless business, believing in the power of power and plenty to produce profit and well-being, is a lie we tell the kids to calm them. The devil bids for our soul and the whole of history is black holed without a whimper or a prayer until Armageddon dawns down darkness. Um, in a cross, but it's the cross of Lorraine and God loves us, but it looks like God loves the U.S., but it isn't. And here's something that looks like an, an old oil, um, oil crane of some sort spewing off death. And here are helicopters or planes looking like war, really. This looks like war and lots of dead Christs on the ground. And yet these symbols still speak so clearly that there, there really is God and God really loves us and we ought to pay attention. <laughs>